Hi. Hi, Robin from Picture Instruments here. Today I will show you how you can execute an advanced three-way color correction in Color Cone. To better understand what will happen in Color Cone, we'll have a quick look at a standard three-way color corrector, for example in Premiere. To edit the shadows, midtones, and highlights, there are three color wheels that you can use to color the corresponding brightness range by dragging the control point towards the color you desire. The further you drag the control, the more you cast this particular range. Some programs, like for example Capture One, also have a brightness control added to each color control. In comparison, these three color wheels each are located on three imaginary layers within the color cone. To be able to compare the effect, I quickly take a screenshot in Premiere and insert the current still image into Color Cone from the clipboard. Upon starting the software, a preset for the three-way color corrector automatically loads and provides you with these three dots representing the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Should the adjustment points not be visible, you can always create them again by using the control for the three-way color corrector. I activate the desired range by clicking on one of the points in the cone itself. By holding the control key in Windows or the command key on a Mac, I can move the point just like any other point on each color wheel in any conventional three-way color corrector. By releasing the control or command key, I can adjust the brightness, which can be very useful depending on the brightness of the selected color. For a more accurate control, I can also use the sliders for the target area's hue, chroma and luminance instead of using the point. I can also simply change the numeric values in the fields. In addition, I can adjust the selected brightness range, in this case the mid-range, for source and target color at the same time by moving the slider for luminance while holding down the control or command key. As you can see, I am able to push the coloring towards shadows or highlights very easily. Furthermore, I can use the radius control to adjust the range of influence. If I increase my radius, for example, the entire image is tinted. By minimizing the radius, I can limit my adjustments to very select areas. To illustrate this, I just hold down the control or command key and move the selected point through all the brightness ranges. To quickly create a look, I widen the radius again and color the lights as well. The result has now become quite colorful, but that really helps to illustrate this feature. To use the look I just created in Premiere, I simply export a 3D lookup table that I can apply to the clip using the Lumetri effect in Premiere. If you want to know more about the possibilities Color Cone offers you, you can find more video tutorials at www.picture-instruments.com under Products, Color Cone. Download a free 14-day trial version today and compare Color Cone's three-way color corrector, which is based on our specially designed color warp technology, with your favorite three-way color correction. We cannot wait to hear what you think.